So I guess why we worked on this project was it was a response to COVID-19 and the challenges that we we're facing. But we wanted to get something that would open up the county to people to travel around and make sure that they could access everything along the coastal route. Because our coastal route is super popular for tourism reasons, for schools, for businesses. You know, we have a brilliant place for swimming. So we wanted to work on that and get something that got people out safely and made sure that they had that community access. So that's why we worked on the coastal mobility route, which was to focus in on providing safe cycling and walking for people of all ages and abilities. We started this project in late June. We had only announced it about two weeks earlier. So we had done the design in about two weeks. We started work on site with a contractor and we work in a very dynamic way. We have a particular model, an adaptive design model that we're using here. So we had most of the design right. Uh, we worked with the contractor and even as we went along, we were making changes to the design to, make, to improve it. We also worked with the local community, uh, local businesses, local residents to deal with any concerns they had, particularly to do with parking and access. What I'm really proud of as a director is the fact that all of our engineering staff, technicians were all in-house. They were all from Dunleary right down. My name is Conor Gairdy, I'm an engineer in the Infrastructure and Climate Change Department. I was the technical design lead on the coastal mobility route. The challenge obviously was to develop a route within a very, very short period of time, within two or three weeks, and then move immediately to construction of a four and a half kilometre route that moves through three signalised junctions, five pedestrian crossings and a whole load of uncontrolled side roads. And the, the initially the, the, the principle of the route would be that it had to be segregated, the modes had to be segregated from each other so that those walking felt safe, that those cycling felt safe and that the drivers could not interact with, with the other two modes. So we, we decided on a curb that would be rapidly deployed and the preference that we had was not available because of demand European wide. So we developed with our contractor over a weekend a, a bespoke timber solution. It was locally sourced, sustainable and we could deploy it rapidly and, and the contractor made 2.4 kilometres of this particular curb over one weekend. Once we commenced construction uh, we deployed the scheme at 120 uh, metres per day along the first five weeks and the coastal route links the five villages of Black Rock all the way through to Dawkey and gives people real safe attractive alternatives to using the car. There have been many positive outcomes to this, the building of this coastal mobility route. And I think um, one of the things is just that like accessibility and more people getting out and people of all ages and all capabilities. Like I've had parents come to me telling me that it's brilliant for the first time ever. Their children, they're cycling by themselves and they feel safe. They're now going to school. They're going meeting up with their friends. So those little kind of real world tangible benefits that we're feeling around here. and. It's been fantastic for DLR and fantastic for our community.